Hello everyone, welcome back to JPTV. I'm sporting my criminal coffee hoodie. I'll link it in the description box. If you don't follow um, Crime Weekly, it is a YouTube channel where um, Stephanie Harlow and Derek Levasseur talk about live true crime stories and they sell coffee called Criminal Coffee. And the coffee is actually really, really good and they have pods. So there you go. It's not sponsoring. They're not sponsoring this video, um, but I thought I'd give them a shout out. So I will um, link their channel in the description box along with the Criminal Coffee website. So I thought I would jump on here today. I'm actually up visiting my son in, well, actually I'm not visiting my son. I'm dog sitting for my son up here in Seattle. So here's the dog. This is Waffles. Waffles, say hello. He just wants me to throw his toy. So if you see me throwing a toy every so often, it's I'm doing it for him. But um, today's video. So first, before I go into today's video, I want to thank any new viewers. If you're new here to my channel, thanks for clicking on this video. Hopefully this video helps you and gives you some insight into um, you know, keto diet versus intermittent fasting. That's what this video is going to all be about, about why I changed from keto, um, to truly just intermittent fasting. So I'll be going into details about that. Um, so without further ado, let's jump on into this video. Okay, so I thought about writing a script for this video and I changed my mind because I really want it to be not scripted, but really kind of come from my heart and really, you know, to be genuine. Because I think that it is important to have some videos that aren't really edited. I mean, I'm going to do some edits to it, but for the most part, it'll just be as is, okay? I hope he's not distracting, but... Um, so to give you a little bit of a backstory, if you haven't been following me, um, I started the ketogenic diet or ketogenic lifestyle back in, I would say 2015. Um, the first time I did it, I lost about 35 pounds and then, um, I, you know, stayed on it for about a year and maintained my weight. He's so annoying. And then, um, kind of stopped doing it. Not regularly, was doing it sometimes, but the problem with the ketogenic diet is if you're not consistent and you go off and on, like you're going to get gain the weight back. And I'll kind of go into that in a little bit. So, um, so I was doing it off and on and then, um, you know, I gained a lot of the weight back. So then a couple of years ago, I lost it all again and I've kind of teetered with that. And so, um, in the midst of doing the ketogenic diet, I was doing intermittent fasting. I did learn about intermittent fasting while I was doing the diet. Okay. Go lay down. He's waffles. Lay down, please. Lay down, please. I'm not going to throw your toy. He only answers to please. It's kind of cute. Um, my son always tells me tell him please. And then he'll sit down. Um, so I was doing keto along with intermittent fasting at the same time. And so I already, I saw more weight loss when I would do the fasting with keto. Now I didn't always do the fasting, but when I lost most of the weight, I was combining it with intermittent fasting. So let's kind of stop there. And we're going to switch on over to talking about the ketogenic diet so that if you don't know what that is, I can explain. Okay, so the ketogenic diet or ketogenic lifestyle is a diet that is low carb, high fat, moderate protein. And the whole purpose behind doing the keto diet takes us back to our ancestors in biblical times where um, they didn't have processed food and their carbohydrates were grains and bread. Pretty much that was it. Um, most of the time they were carnivores. They were mostly eating meat. Um, and so, you know, they were constantly living in a state of ketosis and ketosis is when your body is, um, creating ketones when you are eating less than, um, 20, 20 grams of carbs. Well, actually it's 50 grams of carbs a day. You're in ketosis. 
Um, but 20 is where you kind of want to stay at if you're looking for weight loss. So, um, being in ketosis means that your body is actually, um, using ketones for fuel instead of glycogen or glucose, which is normally what our body uses for fuel. It is a more brain sustaining, uh, fuel efficient way of um, fueling our bodies. So, um, I do want to say real quick that, and put a disclaimer out there that I'm not a medical professional. Apologize. I should have started this video with that. Um, I don't have a degree in this. I don't have a degree in health at all. This is just what I've learned over the years in doing research while doing the ketogenic diet. I wanted to make sure I did my research and understood what I was getting myself into. So I fo follow Dr. Mindy Pels, um, uh, Dr. Berg. Um, those are just two of the ones that I've you know, listened to and done research with to learn about the diet and its benefits. And so, um, you know, when you're in ketosis, when you're eating low carb, your body is able to get to those stored fats um, instead of, because when you're living off of um, glycogen or glucose, your body's just burning what you've eaten. It's not really going after your stored fat. And so that's why a lot of people either gain weight if they're eating over their calorie amount that's allotted for them, or they maintain if they're just eating a standard diet calorie. So um, so that's a little bit about the ketogenic diet. All right, now let's get into why I moved from the ketogenic lifestyle to just doing fasting. So what ended up happening was um, I started to see that I think the keto diet can be sustainable if you're doing uh, clean keto versus dirty keto. And I was doing a lot of dirty keto just because like financially to be able to afford to eat everything, you know, farm to table and uh, organic, it's just, it's very costly. And so um, I was finding it very hard to do the keto diet with more healthy food. Like I was eating, you know, high fat, like I said, but good fats like avocado, um, cheeses, um, olive oil, things like that nuts. But the problem with that is that if you ever have go over your carb goal and you're eating fat, it's just, it's just a, not a win-win situation for anybody. You're going to find yourself gaining weight or gaining your weight back. Drop your monkey. If any of you have a golden doodle, look at this cute little face. You'll be a cool face, 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 face. Grandma's babysitting. So, um, I just found it wasn't sustainable for me. And I was feeling frustrated, especially when there was, all right, waffles, sit down, please. Sorry, I need to get them out of my face. You're distracting everybody. I'm really paying attention. So, um, I really felt that, um, I was finding it difficult, you know, like if it was the holidays or family events or parties or things like that to, to stay on it. And I loved fasting. And so I started watching videos on fasting and I started getting fascinated with the benefits of fasting. You know, I was doing it just for weight loss. I wasn't thinking about the health benefits. I really didn't do research on what the health benefits were when it comes to fasting. But as I've been fasting now, since um, February of this year, it's 2023. I have found that it is a more sustainable lifestyle for me because I can customize my fasting to whatever's going on in my life. Like I mentioned with parties and things like that. And so if you've been following me for a while, uh, I've been doing fasting videos since February of this year. Um, I tried different kinds of fasts. That's what I love. Some people truly like to just do OMAD or strictly too mad, or they like to do the 16, eight diet or the 18, six or not diet, a fasting schedule. And I like to mix it up. I don't want my body getting used to anything particular because what I have found, because I am going through menopause is that, uh, I gain weight a lot quicker. And so I have to constantly be tricking my body. Like my body cannot get used to a certain way of eating in a certain time because otherwise, uh, I'm all over the place and, um, I will gain the weight back. So, I've been doing this since February of this year. I have lost uh, almost 30 pounds 
And I've sustained my weight since I lost most of it in the first three months. And since then, it's been more uh, maintaining weight. But I've gone on, I go on a lot of vacations. I go on like three to four vacations a year where, you know, I go for four to five days at a time and um, I'll stop doing fasting while I'm on vacation. Or maybe I'll fast a couple of the days I'm on vacation, but I don't really um, stay strict with it. And sometimes I'll gain a few pounds and then I come back home and then I go back to my normal fasting lifestyle and then I'll lose the weight again. So um, I have really found that there's more flexibility with it. So, so truly that's what it comes down to. So I'm going to say there's two main reasons why I switched from keto to intermittent fasting only is one, I can eat whatever I want and there's flexibility. And then two, all the health benefits that come with fasting, like autophagy, which I'll do another video talking about that because that's a whole video in itself. Um, but, uh, ultimately it's the freedom and flexibility of fasting. You know, if, one day I know that, um, or it's Christmas day or it's Thanksgiving day. I can just not fast that day. I can do a five, five, one, one fast, which is five days of your favorite fast. One day of, um, a longer fast. And then one day of no fasting. And then the one day of no fasting, I just make sure it's that day, like Thanksgiving day or Christmas day. Um, or if it's a day where, um, I have a Christmas party, like I have a Christmas party coming up and it's in the evening. So what I might do is customize my fast that week. And, um, that morning I might decide instead of doing, um, an 18, six that I'm just going to do a 24 and leave that four hour window for the evening when I go to that party and then I can eat whatever I want. So there's just the flexibility of that and seeing that I can actually lose weight and do it by eating the foods that I enjoy and not feeling deprived, it has made a world of difference. Because ultimately, with keto, you know, I feel like long term, it's not sustainable. Now, do I feel like keto is good when you're wanting to lose like a significant amount of weight and you want to switch from fasting and, and go into ketosis and do that like for a month? Yes, I think that's huge, but to sustain it month after month after month, it's just, I just found it difficult for me. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts on um, this video or any of the things that I've talked about, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you move from keto to intermittent fasting and if you like it, or if you prefer doing keto. Um, I am going to do a video upcoming where I'm actually going to do keto and fasting for a whole month. So I'm going to do like, a, I don't know if I'll do 16, eight or I'll do 24, but I will, whatever I do, I'm going to do low carb, but I'm not going to do the 20 grams of carbs, right? I'm going to do like around the 50. So I'm still burning or still creating ketones, but not like hardcore in the low, 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 uh, carbohydrate, um, you know, um, what's the word I look at baseline. Um, I'll focus more on like 50 to hundred grams of carbs. So that video will be upcoming. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that and that's it. Hope you guys like it. If you did give it a thumbs up, I'm holding his head down and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh.